Macca's guides. <laughs> Hey everyone, Maka here, and today is a very exciting day. This is the 48 inch LG C1, a top of the line OLED display with every feature under the sun. Not only that, but it's paired with the brand new LG Ultra Gear GP9 gaming speaker, and I've been lucky enough to test drive these two things for the past week. A special thank you to LG Canada for sponsoring this video and allowing me to take these things for a test drive and make this video to tell you what I thought. Now like many of you, I love tech and like many of you, I want to get the most out of my gaming experience, whether that's playing 4K 120 with HDR, whether it's taking advantage of features like G-Sync and FreeSync, or whether it's hearing every enemy footstep, I want it all. I have admired this specific line of TVs for several years, and as time has passed, they've gotten better and better. So whether you're using a gaming PC, an Xbox Series X, or a PlayStation 5, now is as good a time as ever to jump in. Also, this specifically is the newer 48 inch model, which kind of blurs the line between what's a TV and what's a monitor and makes gaming on an OLED in an office setup like this a lot more viable. However, it's also available in 55 inch, 65 inch, 77 inch, and 83 inch. So let's start with the basics with this being an OLED display. I think you truly have to see one in person to comprehend exactly what you're gonna get, but let me try my best to explain it. A traditional LCD or LED display uses a backlight that shines light through the pixels and then that produces the image you'll see on screen. The backlight causes some extra light to be scattered through to places that it doesn't necessarily need to be. However, in an OLED, each individual pixel will produce its own light, and then each individual pixel can be turned on and off. This means that OLEDs basically have an infinite contrast ratio and are able to produce perfect blacks. Because of how OLEDs work, they also have some added benefits like having better image quality from higher brightness levels, wider viewing angles, and naturally faster refresh rates. They also happen to be extremely thin, produce less blue light, and they'll use less power. Apart from it being an OLED being a huge plus, the LG C1 is built for the HDMI 2.1 spec and it'll fully support it with the ability to do 4K 120 with HDR10 and Dolby Vision support, features like variable refresh rate, auto low latency mode, and eARC, all while maintaining a response time of one millisecond. The support of AMD FreeSync and NVIDIA G-Sync will have your graphics card looking its best, and the Bluetooth support can pair with something like our LG GP9 speaker wirelessly. All this means that when you plug in your next gen console, you will have every, and I mean every, option available to you. Changing focus to the physical design, LG kept it pretty simple with a low profile metal pedestal stand, and there's a little bump in the back for some added stability and a place to route your cables. But in the back, you'll also find four HDMI 2.1 ports, three USB ports, an ethernet port, mini jack, optical out, RF antenna input, and a headphone out. The screen is also mind-bendingly thin, even making my iPhone look thick in comparison. It also comes with a refreshed remote that you can use for shortcuts for access to built-in smart TV apps, or you can use voice control to like change the volume. Now that I've spent a week with this 48-inch LG C1 as the main display in my office setup, both for PC and for console gaming, I can truly say it is the best display I have ever used. Growing up as a gamer, I spent the vast majority of my time playing on a TV, but I made the switch over to monitors in recent years for some of their added benefits. But with this 48 inch C1, it feels like I can kind of have the best of both worlds. And at this screen size with a deep enough desk, it works perfectly. The pixel density is high enough that I can't make out individual pixels and the finish handles reflections extremely well. Playing in 4K at 120 frames per second is awesome, and the low input lag makes for extremely clear motion while gaming. It's also amazing to get the full gaming experience on the next-gen consoles without necessarily needing to shell out the money for a high-end graphics card, and as an avid movie watcher, this viewing experience is unparalleled. The only real sacrifices here is that there is minimal adjustability because of the stand, that should be pretty obvious and you'll need the appropriate desk size with some good depth. 
and additionally the game library that currently supports all of the features that this TV can handle is somewhat limited on consoles, although it's constantly growing. Now the C1 does obviously have built-in TV speakers, but I spent the majority of my time connected to the LG GP9 gaming speaker, which was purpose-built as a companion for the LG Ultra Gear gaming monitor. We took a look at that monitor in a video last year. The GP9 offers quite a bit. It has Bluetooth functionality, so we can connect it to our phone or a TV like this wirelessly or you can go with a more traditional route like an optical port or the USB-C. Also with the LG X Boom app, you can create a personalized equalizer for certain games, or you can change the color of the RGB lighting in the front. It also allows you to choose from presets based on the type of game you're playing, and there's a headphone jack if you prefer to use your headset for certain games. You'll be able to easily switch between your headset and the speaker with one button press, and there's a built-in microphone as well. My favorite feature is the onboard battery that lets you take this thing on the go for up to five hours. I was also surprised with how much of a punch this thing could pack, especially with a deep bass that I really enjoyed while watching movies. The max volume can get up pretty high with minimal distortion and it supports LG's 3D gaming sound tech. There aren't many products that fit into this exact category, but if you're looking for a high-end gaming specific wireless speaker, you may be in luck. Although I do wish there was a setting that cycled through RGB colors on its own. To conclude the video, LG has made one of the best displays in 2021 and the 48 inch size has really opened it up to a new market segment in PC gaming and office setups that previously was kind of left out when it came to OLEDs. LG has even announced a 42 inch model coming at some point in the near future, so that's pretty cool. But this has definitely blurred the lines between what's a TV and what's traditionally a monitor. This is really the best of both worlds. We get a beautiful 4K display that can handle 4K, 120 and HDR all at the same time and we can take advantage of everything in the HDMI 2.1 spec. Whether you're a console gamer, a PC gamer, or even an avid movie watcher, you can't really go wrong here, and the GP9 gaming speaker makes for a great companion to keep yourself immersed. Thank you so much for watching the video, I hope you learned something new. A special thank you to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and hopefully I see you soon. Peace.